back. Um, minus one. Minus one. We're gonna still make this damn show roll though. I mean, yeah. um, I need my glasses. I'm starting to learn how I need my glasses more and more. I guess when it's old age. Yeah. Yeah. I see everything right now. Oh, you see money, 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 money. I don't think I see that. Twenty. Twenty. The 20, 20, 20. The 20, 20, 20. <laughs> Oh, um, we back again. Another episode of Disturbingly Random uh, Podcast. Uh, that's Miss Cookie. I'm Ro. Um, like we and always that's... do it. Oh. Oh, we got a guest. Oh, we talk about that. Okay. Guess. But, oh, um, not a real guest. Nah, not a real guest. Mm. And anything, but it's a real guest. Um, yeah, so we got a couple of things to talk about this week. We ain't going to beat your ears up to death and anything, but there's some, there's some, there's some shit. There's some shit. Always. Um, there's always some shit. Um, my piece of candy, are you good? I'm good. My breath snake? No. Oh. You know what? Your breath never, I never noticed your breath snake. I know some people whose breath snake, and you know them too. They breath stink. But, um, they breath, they breath stink. <laughs> it's a girl. It's bad when a girl's breath stink. When a girl's breath stink. Ooh. When a girl's breath stink and anything, it's a little different than when a so guy's So did you tell her? No. Why? Well, not in that. In, in my own way, I told her. But, um, it, it, it's, 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 ain't it kind of different? Do you, they, you, they don't go to the dentist. They can't possibly. They probably got gingivitis. Or she probably don't shit. Or either she don't floss because, you know, mm-hmm. if you don't floss and get that food from stuck. Mm-hmm. I had a girl once upon a time who couldn't. She used the bathroom like every three or four days and she has stinking breath. So I attribute it to that. How did you connect those two dots together? I figured if it ain't coming out down there, it must be coming out up here. Look at that. No? Only you. Only you. Makes sense so to did, me. did it did it stink when she when she go down go down? I wouldn't know. Oh. And and as much as I got two heads, Nathan, he didn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. He didn't go lump he didn't go lump like no, oh, oh my god, I just flatlined. Dudes don't care. Dudes don't really care about that. Not when it's time for that, but yo, just go ahead. Oh but yeah, I care if y'all go down there on a woman and stink. Yeah. We care about that. Definitely care about that. So when, 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 when the hot pocket and they think you don't smell right, <laughs> so nobody want that. <laughs> Yo, for real. Hey, um, like I said, we got a lot to talk about. You know, a lot happened. Um, from a lot happened on the last podcast. Mm-hmm. At this point now, and anything, y'all didn't even see. Y'all probably just saw it because I probably just put it up. And anything, but uh, that was, that was a lot to edit. Um, I uh, bet it was. Yeah, it was. Um, but, uh, we got through it. That's um, usual. I wish, uh, I wish that we can kind of have, uh, be ha- consistent. Ha- be consistent with certain things, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Maybe that's what makes it so good. Mm, yeah, I mean, inconsistency. random. Yeah. Anyway, if you wonder why I have pink hair, it's because it's the breast cancer month. So I tried something different. <laughs> that's it. She gets good. <laughs> No, I didn't say. Don't yeah, don't do that one. Don't do that. I didn't do that. Don't I'm do just it. letting you know. Don't, don't give it up. Don't, don't do the round. Don't do it. Don't do I kind of think you must like it because why you keep talking about it? True, true. Hey man, um, so I got something for you. What? Since you always want to talk about the Kevin Hart, I see he went back to work. Damn, how he do that with a broken back? I don't know. That's fast, huh? They say he worked two Miraculous. hours a day. Miraculous, huh? They say he back at work. What hospital that was he was in? I don't know. Oh, um, they was he was in a rehab, but now they he oh, back on set. Hmm. Damn. He was back on set. They said he back on set. I think he do two to four hours a day. Two hours to four hours a day. That's crazy. Two to four hours a day. Got him right back on that stage. <laughs> I don't know how that worked with back surgery. I didn't know it could be but that. If you bad. had a broken back, <laughs> yo, broken back is a broken back. Ain't nobody getting. Re- well, I don't. No, he's not doing like no stunts or nothing. I guess he just but sitting he, here. But he back there doing. Yeah, what? he got he got because it's Jumanji's coming out. Uh huh. You gotta be ready. You gotta be on that set. And that's because he was the only one that wasn't there. And that's an active. Uh, that's a set. That's a pretty act. That's an action movie, pretty much, huh? But yeah. he's gonna he gonna be there. All right, Kevin. <laughs> I had. I said I gotta say this because. <laughs> Now <laughs> I'm starting to put all the pieces yeah, together. Gotta stop falling for this boy. Yo, that that was like a cheap commercial. That's all that was. That was just that was hype promotion. That was just that's hype because you know the movies about to come out, whatever like that. Then you got to start building up a story around it. That's what everything is. Everything is build up the story. 
You know what I mean? Your, your man Takashi Six Nine got a record deal. That's don't say my man. I all right. That boy Takashi Six Nine got a record deal. Damn, she got mad. Yo, that's ill. When when people who ain't been out in the streets and they wait, what you mean he got a record deal from who? From prison. A record. Uh, somebody um gave him a eight or ten million dollar record deal, right from prison. They said they just want two albums out of him, Spanish and an English one. He didn't do that while he in jail. Yeah, but it don't matter. He got ten million, eight to ten million. That's crazy. His family he's telling, to eat. he's telling, and he's getting eight to ten million. That's crazy to me. Hmm. That's crazy to me. That's the way life is. Um, Things change. People. A lot, change. a lot of people don't like that. Um, of course, um, the game. He went off. Rap of the game. He went off on um, on uh, Instagram about it. A lot of people went off about it, but the game. He really don't like it. That was crazy. You know what I mean? He went off. But um, yeah, I can imagine. I didn't like the game at first. You didn't. We used to. I used to work for uh for a record uh management a record label over in New York and um he what they watching for we uh managed the game and uh he was one of the dudes we managed it was Gorilla Black the game um Mario Winans Brandy oh yeah a bunch of people Ray J sister yeah and um it was a lot of people uh, big um, big get from Goody Mob Chic Luch and um it was our Entertainment and they then late it was Henchman Records that first came to Zar Entertainment uh anyway um. Games used to come in, and I didn't like him back then. I, I really didn't like him. Why? Because he was arrogant. Yeah, I just didn't. Was everybody arrogant. they went crazy over him, but I didn't like him. Uh, I, 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 I was really on my. I was more about East Coast rappers, East Coast um, artists, or mm-hmm. whatever. And then, and then he he had just came in to rap, and he had only been rapping for like two or three years, and he used to make that a statement. I only I was only rapping for two or three years, and he got big, and I was like, yo, a lot of people out there working hard, and they ain't get this big. So I ain't really like him, but I learned. I started liking him over the uh, over the years or whatever. But I like that he's outspoken. He be the same what's on his Oh mind. yeah, he does. But um, yeah, he didn't like this Takashi six nine eight to ten million dollar deal thing. So, but um, I did it. I did it. I did an interview. Um, mm-hmm. just uh, a couple. This uh, what last week, a couple of days ago, and um, with my man uh, John Fuller, John Doc Fuller, prison coach. Mm-hmm. Um, we did a matter of fact. Here's this book right here. Um, a day in prison. I'll plug that thing. A day in prison. Um, check it out. It's on Amazon. Um, and, and inside is a guide to life behind bars. Anyway, I did an interview with him. That's how your cell used to look. Sometimes, well, it depends on what prison you was in. Sometimes. That's like one man cell. That's yeah. That's a one man cell right there. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we talked a lot about uh, the Takashi thing, and you know you can check that out. It's on YouTube. Just check it out. Um, it's a series that I do called Food by Food. Um, I cook food. I you know present it to the people who I'm going to do the interview with, the question and answers with, and they answer questions, and I kind of get them wrapped up in the conversation by dulling their senses to you know what I'm going to say because they eat the food. Yeah, your food cooked. be so good. I be wanting to be different characters and act like I'm somebody different just to come and have an interview just to eat. Yo, I did a food by food with you. I did a tester with you. I'm going to post it. You, I'm going to put it on YouTube. I am going to put it on YouTube. I was wondering. That's why I'm I made the little statement, but yeah. it's all good. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it up. I'm gonna I was the first. She was the first. Yeah, she was the first. And guess what? Ain't up yet. I'm, I'm trying to understand. Not, listen, it was a tester, but I'm going to put it up. I am definitely well, going to put it up. Well, you test the dummies, the dummies pass. Damn. Okay. All right. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, you can check that out. Just go to uh, um, go on YouTube, go on the, the channel that you're seeing this on, the Still Magazine channel, and you'll see it. Food by food, you'll see it. Um, actually, if you go to Zay Media on Instagram, you can go to the link in the bottom. You'll see it there, too. And something. then while you're doing that, check out all the episodes of Disturbingly Random, please. Because yeah, you know what? If you don't do it now, when it's snow, in the wintertime, you might as well just binge watch us. Because... Yeah. What else you got to do? Binge, yeah, binge watch. Yeah, why not? How do you think people feel if they like watch like mad episodes of Disturbingly Random back to back? They might lose their minds, huh? <laughs> they be like, yeah, what the hell was they thinking? Yeah. She went from drinking to not drinking. Are you still not drinking? I'm going back to drinking, not right now. Oh, shit. I'm going back. Next week, next week I'll be drinking. Oh, shit. I'll be drinking. I'll be drinking. Ooh. Okay. I that, can't wait that to that have note? that sip. <laughs> That note, though. Yo, um, so hold up. You, you think Drake's father was drinking when he said that uh, Drake was lying on all of them songs? He said Drake been lying on them, saying that he was an absent father. He's like, he wasn't in his life. He said, yeah, I've been in his life all this time. I don't know why the boy lying. He said, Drake's told him to just go along with it. It sells records. 
So he felt like he he needed to come out and yeah. tell her. Yeah, like why? <laughs> why? Why don't you just keep Does it being make quiet it... and letting your son take care of you? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So that means Drake baby turned one. That's why he posted that up on Instagram. Then I thought it was two. It was one. I don't know. I, don't I ain't, we ain't seen the baby yet. Yeah, yeah Drake was at. Yeah, Did still, you see that? Nah, Drake, oh. Drake posted up the pictures of the party, but he ain't posted the baby. You know what? She I'm trying to up. see where did I see this at. Somebody asked Ti, do he think? First they asked him, do he think his son was a better rapper than him? Ti said, we got it from me. Mm-hmm. So then they said, well, why don't you and the money battle Will Smith and Jaden? Who you think would win? I think Ti win. That's what Ti said. Yeah, I think Ti win. Ti win. Listen, you understand? Like Will can rap. Will Will has never been. In a battle. We never looked at... I never seen Tiana battle either, but I'm just saying, we never looked at Will as being, like, an ill rapper. We looked at he was Will... Entertainment. He was entertainment. T.I. came in rapping. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And um, Jaden, he's an ill performer for the, for the music that he do now. It's not even called rap no more. It's just... So, but them two, Damani and, and Jaden might... Damani raps. He can rap. That kid can rap. He got uh, it. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. what uh, T.I. said. He got it from his father. The sperm went straight to him. <laughs> Yo, um, uh, you know, the sperm hey. went straight to him. That sounds crazy. Sperm went straight to him. He's a he's a good he's hey. I know that would the, be the, cute the, to see though. The sperm going straight to Jeannie May. Yeah, Jeannie May. You don't get mad. Why y'all be getting mad over Mama Jeannie? Mai? No, hold on, hold on. Why y'all get mad over Jeannie Mae? I ain't uh, mad at her. And, um, and Jeezy. Jeezy, I ain't mad. Hey, to each his own. Y'all don't, y'all don't like, do, do black women like when um when they see women who not black get with a black guy? No, because I want me a white guy. You keep saying that. I keep saying that, right? Either yeah. I told Either you, you, do I want to step do. out. You really, you. I want to step out the box. Mm-hmm. Want to step out the box? What you gonna do if you find out if you mess with a, black, a white guy and you find out that they really that the, the rumor is real? What the myth about you know that they really ain't got you know they can't they can't do nothing with black women and they got little joints. <laughs> Keep on walking. I ain't talking to you anymore. Let's go. So you just gonna cut them loose? I'm gonna do that. You gonna, you gonna keep them? You can't Listen, always you kept black dudes and everything around. I was about to was say that. Him. I told you I had one that. And how long did you keep him? Not long. So, so you. He played me out, so that's why we ain't last. Damn, how he played you out if he wasn't doing right? He played me out because I was at his. I was at. I spent the night at his house. Mm-hmm. And I was asleep. Mm-hmm. He woke me up about one, two in the morning. Uh huh. And told me I need to go upstairs to his sister house. So I said, for what? Yeah, this is a rough story. Yes. This is the. This is the I said, for what? He said, because my baby mother needs to come and talk to me. I said, she can't talk to you on the phone? Say words. You serious? That's what I'm both of my kids. So go ahead. So what happened? So I said, if I wake up hmm. and get up, I'm not going to go upstairs. I'm going to get in my car and leave. Uh Because I'm trying to understand why does she have to come to your house Uh 2 o'clock in the morning to talk to you about what just they can't be Uh discussed over the phone. Uh He said it ain't going to be long. Then it could be a phone conversation. Uh She came and I left. And I ain't been back. Yo, that's ill. Hmm. Yo, is that like the illest thing that a dude ever did? Like that? To me? Yeah. Oh, hell no. I got plenty of stories. You do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can write a book on that. How to play cookie out. Not no more. Not no more. You ain't getting that no more. Oh, hell to the no, no, no. I've been saved. You've <laughs> been saved. Today? <laughs> yeah. Today? You got a bad fact today, huh? Yeah. I know. I went to, that uh, di- yeah. I went to the damn ceremony. <laughs> uh, can you say damn when I'm talking about church? Um... Damn, if you can't, then I won't say it. Like it's that. a damn, it's like a wall. That's that, that, that ain't what I meant. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I went. To, yo, you got, so you, she got baptized baptized today and everything. Yes, yo, I did. Yo, they, yo he was the, the, what's that, the pastor? The pastor. He no, was the, the one that was singing? Yeah. No, he's a, he directs a choir. And he was giving it up. Yo, he should put out a mixtape. He went straight from one song to another. You said I that. I right. couldn't believe you said that. I said, yo, if he ain't got that mixtape up on Spotify, he should. ASAP. He was giving it up. I, you saw I came in here dancing. I, 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 I was shocked. I was like, whoa. Yeah, don't play with me. Yeah, we get it in. We get it in. But yeah, that was uh, it was it was kind of cool. 
Um, yeah, the water been was cold. Oh, that water was cold when they dipped you. But it, and you know what? I thought it was like regular water. Oh no, it was holy water. Explain what it felt like. <laughs> what the holy water felt like? What it felt like? It was holy water. It, it didn't even smell like regular water. It didn't. No, it smelled holy. It smelled holy. Oh, well, you down at the river of Jordan? Yep. You was there. Down by the river. Yo, yeah, yeah, I was kidding. I'm done. Yo, don't be making fun of that. That's I'm not, not making fun of that. No, don't make fun I'm of that. I was serious. The water was cold. I'm beyond just But right. I was happy. I, it, oh. it washed my sins out. Did you really feel light afterwards? Though? Mm-hmm. I felt like a weight was off oh. of me. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yo, I'm telling you, I went to, when I was there and everything, I saw, I saw, um, mad different people and... I was really just like, I, am I, I sure? Yeah. Well, oh, you want to see all like, kinds of people. Kind, and I'm like sitting there and I'm tripping and and I'm like, yeah, you know what? You start to understand church a lot more when you're there. Not because of the feeling like you might get, but mm-hmm. you start to look at the feelings that people, other people get or whatever like that. You start to see like the, the expressions on their face and the things that they do. And you're like this, yo, you know what? Church is a necessary thing. I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Not some, maybe not church, but religion is a necessary thing. You start to understand why people subscribe to religion. Um, something that's not even seen. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times the things that we do see, they're not conducive to our growth. They're not, they're not um, positive um, to us or whatever like that. So when you start giving people so many things in life that they can see and it's not good for them, whatever like that, then sometimes maybe you know it, the things that are good for them, maybe it need to be, it need to be more rooted in secrecy. Maybe need to be more rooted in spirit, things that you can't see. Mm-hmm. And then they respect it more because they don't know anything is going to smack them in their face or kick them in their ass later. You know what I mean? So you start to respect religion a lot more when you start looking at it from that way. Whatever. Mm-hmm. So when I, like, when I was in the church today and I'm looking at the people and I'm like this, yeah, you know what? Even if they just good people for now while they in here and they go out and they, and they, call, you can't and they, judge call, and they call somebody a motherfucker when they leave, <laughs> that's their business. Because, yo, you know what I'm saying? When you got so many good people with... A spirit that's good at the moment mm-hmm. in one place, then I guess that's God. That overshadows all. That's, that's God, God. Mm-hmm. right there. You know what I mean? So the collection of spirits is really what God is. Mm-hmm. Good spirits, that is. Yeah. Look at me. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? <laughs> He's going to church? No. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You gave me a sermon already. I gave it just now. <laughs> Talking about. Come out. <laughs> hey, um... So what's what else is new? Um, so Lori Harvey, um, she she cut Diddy off, or Diddy cut her off. I forgot all about them. I know Diddy got a new chick. He got some new his, actress. His chick son, other do- other girlfriend. <laughs> Stop playing. Oh my bad. Stop playing. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey yo, it's gonna come a time when you and um your daughter. Gonna no, we're not. Listen, listen, no. listen, listen. But listen, I'm not saying. I'm not saying it. It's gonna come a time when you and your daughter are gonna hang out in the same place. Do you realize? Do you realize that? Yeah, we hang out in the mall. No, all right, yeah, all right. See, see, see. That's that's first. What's gonna happen when? And we start going to cruises and going to different trips together. Yeah, and she's getting something at the bar with you, and she's like, "Yo, give me two of those." No, we're not doing that. Why? She's gonna gonna be twenty seven. I understand that, but don't say give me two of those. (laughs) All right. When she (laughs) two for her. Four for me. So, right. so, so listen. So when when you and your daughter are at those places, and you getting your four, she getting her two, and there's two dudes standing over there, hey, right? And one of them, hey, he likes women his age, which is your daughter, and the other one likes older women. So is it father and, and they, son? No, no. They two guys the same age, thirty year old guys, and one guy he likes older women. Oh, he like cougars. Yeah, he did. The two guys walk up and push up on you and your daughter. So how you gonna feel about it? I'm like, like excuse me. First of all, you the same age as my daughter. Uh-huh. So what I look like dating you, the same as my daughter. And then what happens when he tell you this ain't a date? You know what I mean? We on a cruise. No. Nah. You know that it's ma. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. You don't know that it's ma. Nah. Nah. No ma. Nah. <laughs> you better go find your mama. <laughs> Yeah. I ain't the one. So you ain't having no fun nah, on the cruise. Man. You're going to be looking for the old guy with the with the red tinted glasses who drives the Cadillac, the burgundy Cadillac. With Hell the no. You got it. That's, no. that's the other option. I know it's not. Guy. I don't have to. No. 
You got people my age don't drive no old ass car like that. Not gonna get a new Cadillac. No. I thought about getting one, getting a new Cadillac, the ta- the burgundy one. You know you gotta get the burgundy. When you old, you get burgundy. With the rag on the top. Maybe with the rag on the top, with the tan leather interior, tint my glass, my glasses be red tinted too. Huh? Uh, see? I don't Come know. Out. You see all of this gray? I exactly. Gotta, I gotta go that route. And you gonna have your music. What's the what's the uh what's the song? Kenny the, G. Lavert. Lavert. That's some type of me. I know Lavert. Kenny G. I used to listen to Lavert when I was a kid too. Oh, Kenny G. Is the uh the jazz. Yeah. Oh, I love his music. Yeah. Yo, Safari and Erica had the baby. No, huh. she's pregnant. She's, she's pregnant. having a girl. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They gonna be on Love and Hip Hop again though. I'm confused. What? So that mean she was pregnant before she got married. Yeah. What you think she? What she? You think she abide by? It? Yeah, stop giving these people and anything so much of a pedestal to stand on. Anything. You know what I'm saying? Yo, they ain't righteous. I ain't mad at her. They ain't righteous. Cause I got two kids, so when I get married, it is what it is. So, but you, I ain't gonna be no kids after that. You gonna tell them straight up? So we did. I did this already. Playpen is closed. Playground is open. Whoa. Okay. The play. Say it again. Say it again. The playpen. Is closed and the playground is open. Damn. Yo, if you ain't caught, listen, you better hit her inbox. If you ain't DM and half that she said that, <laughs> then shame on you. How, what, what is your, what's your, what's your, what's your Instagram again? <laughs> Miss, <laughs> Miss Cookie, Miss per, MZ, period. K U K Y. I just live life and have fun and not now. care about how anything you, no how, more. How, how you spell your name again? MZ. Go ahead. Dot K U K Y. Can you say that backwards? M Z. Oh, get the fuck out of here! You said say it back. All right, well, all right, you get it. It'll be it'll be in a book. I'll look backwards to say it. <laughs> you said, can I say it backwards, right? You damn right, I did say it. Okay, you ain't say look. You ain't say. You just say, can you say it backwards? It'll be down there. It'll be down there. But uh, anyway, yo, um, oh, oh man, rest in peace. You remember Belly, the movie Belly? Yes, Lennox. Made thing on the original Don Dada. You want to rump with me? Yeah. yeah. Passed away. Louis oh, Rankin. No. He passed away. Made they got in a car accident in um, Canada. Yeah, he was an older guy. He was like 65, something like that. That's yeah, still that ain't nothing. Yeah, but I'm just saying, he, I didn't realize how old he was and I didn't realize he was living in Canada. So that means they couldn't <coughs> do a belly too because he ain't going to be able to be in it. They got a belly too. But you wouldn't, don't you ever try to watch it. Don't look it up. It don't look like, if DMX no. and Nas not in it, ain't no need to watch it. But then what's the, the purpose game. of watching the it? The game is in it. And, who? Uh, the game. Who and what? Yeah. Who? He's the, he's the head character. Like, you know, like, it is like a, DMX? It's not even linked to the you old. You know movie. DMX is going back to rehab? Again? Yeah, people not did it. He got some demons. I want them to get him out of him. He is an excellent, excellent rapper. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah, I wish that um, DMX get right, though, man. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, what is it? T- tell me, um, what? Tell me something that that. I see you said you stopped drinking. Yeah, I'm tell, tell me something. Tell, give me, give me a demon that you would like to. You know what I'm saying? Be rid of something that you would like to stop doing just completely and never look at it, never do it again. Junk food. Yeah. You a junk food eater? Yeah. I, I didn't know that. I wake up in the middle of the night and be eating in my bed. Yeah, what the? Whatever I think of, whatever's in my house, that's like, why I gotta stop. And... I got pops, that's mm-hmm. the uh kettle corn pop Doritos. Mm-hmm. I got them. Mm-hmm. I have um Pringles, mm-hmm. I have Kit Kat, I have Snickers, I have granola bars, I have ice cream. What mm-hmm. the hell? I so, need all that. So, and so. then I'm talking about the tummy tuck. How the hell am I gonna get rid of my stomach and I'm sitting in the bed eating that shit? You want and something? then crumbs all in the bed, and I'm waking up in the morning like, What is all this for? You got crumbs. <laughs> No, no more. I'm I'm working on that. Yeah, That's so my next 40-day giveaway. Yeah, I, I, got some, I got some detox tea. Oh, you want it? You want some? Oh, the yeah. flat tummy tea you was talking about? Yeah, yo, but I it's for men, though. I, no, need, I, I got the for men and women joint. Give me the women one. Got you. I'm going to try it. Got you. Wait. I'm I could take it. To, I could take it today. Because I don't have work tomorrow. Yeah, got you. This joint, it don't, don't have you like that either. It don't have you like running to the bathroom. What would it make you do? Well, you can test it out tomorrow since you ain't working no more. What would it make you do? How you gonna yeah, lose I mean, weight? I don't know how you running, like going crazy, like running back and forth like that. How many times? I don't know. I just bought it. You ain't taking it. I'm gonna hit you off. I got you. Don't worry. All right. All right. I'm gonna hit you off. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna weigh myself tonight mm-hmm. and see how much I weigh. 
and I'm gonna drink the tea, and mm-hmm. then next week I'm gonna tell you how much I really how much lost. lost for the whole week. Yeah, oh. there you go. I'm getting enough to get you for the whole week. Mm. Y'all see this? Perfect. It's gonna be gone because I'm gonna say it's flat tummy. You're gonna no, be no, it's not gonna be snatched. That's what it's they just say. gonna be skin hanging down. Yo, did you watch Power yet? I don't know why I just maybe just said yo. I think because um, I thought about Lala, Lala she her body be snatched and everything. But Lala's I, is gorgeous. Lala, she's pretty st- most of the time. But I see what the her. Hell you mean most well, of the time? Well, I saw her on Power today, and she had the ugly face on, and she didn't look good. Because it was uh, she acted. She 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 did she did now. I don't know they killed her. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna tell you who killed her though, because you ain't watched it yet. Nope, I'm gonna have to do like I ask everybody else to do. I'm gonna have to binge watch. Yo. They told Lala, yeah, they killed the shit out of Lala. <laughs> How ghosts feel about that? How ghosts feel? Ghosts don't care about Lala no more. He hates her. Mm. Not Tasha. Not Ghost Wife. No, what's the wife guy mm. name? Oh, oh, Tommy. Tommy. How yeah. Tommy feel? Yeah. He found out. He found out next episode. No, no, he found out at the end of the episode. You gotta see how you gonna react to it. I don't even know if you're gonna find out who did it. I ain't gonna tell you either. No, don't, don't tell me. That's crazy. No, okay. Matter of fact, by the time you people see this joint, they gonna know, but... Yo, she dead as hell. So she ain't even coming back no Yo, more. Yo, she got shot in the head. So she, she dead like back. the little girl. Yeah, she did dead. She gonna be on, well, just so you know, Lala's gonna be on um The Shy. His other show? No, that's not Sticky's other show. That's um Lena Waif's show. Mm. Yeah, Lena Waif's. Um, she got a show, and she's bringing Lala, Candy Burress. Um, Candy who? What's her name? Candy Burress? Burress? Oh, Housewives of Atlanta? Yeah. Okay. That was how, how you say it, man? You know not to ask me no uh, shit like that when I can't get names. Yeah, can't I can't parts. get words right. You want me to pronounce my name? How about I just say Candy from um, Escape? <laughs> candy from Escape. You know, uh, candy from Atlanta Housewives. Can I keep it real though? I used to have a thing with Candy. But not in her early years. Not back in the days. Back in the days, I got on a plane with them coming from Atlanta. And hey, then I saw like these four girls. They were dressed crazy looking to me. And me and my brother on the plane. I said, yo, um, I said, yo, who the hell they think they is? Escape? And, hey, they and it was really them? Yeah, but I ain't know it was them. So I was like, sit back. like the fool? <laughs> you? <laughs> sit back, kick it, enjoying the ride. <laughs> I said, yo, everybody out here think they get problem. <laughs> and, yo, we got on the plane. <laughs> and they was on the plane. I said, oh, that's Escape. <laughs> yeah, they was whack. They was whack back then. All four of them. They was whack. I ain't gonna lie. They was whack. But now, Candy, she grew up. She grew up real nice. Candy's bad. Tiny, too. T.I. Wife. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I like her. I mean, I like her. I like her. She's cool. But I, I never looked at Tiny like that. She oh. wasn't my cup of tea. Oh, okay. I'm going to go that route. All right. You know what I mean? Um, the big one. What was her name? Uh, she could say. With Tamika? Name. Tamika. That's her name? I don't know. It's one of them. No, Tamika's tiny. No, there's two Tamika. Okay, Tamika, the, the chubby the chubby one. Oh. I liked her a little bit. I didn't like her sister at all. Totally not. Totally no. You know what I'm saying? I always liked them little chubby girls back then, though. They did something to you, didn't they? No, I liked them. Yeah, yeah, they did something to me. Yeah, they, did, <laughs> they did something to me. Chubby women, they always had, yo, they nice. I like chubby women. Let me women. ask you something. Is it true? Because I know when I was big, because mm-hmm. my friend... We now we ain't, I ain't we big no more. We why? Okay, is when I was big, why he, I, what, when he, okay, how can I put it, wait? No, please put it, please put it, put it so I can tell you. Put it. He used to give you the rhythm back no, when he was chubby. No, 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 no. Yeah, he felt like he had to go deep, like real, like, oh. Because dudes be thinking. Get all up there because I was a big girl. No, I'm going to tell you because dudes tend to think that, two things, big girls and anything, you got more to get through and anything, right? Number two, and they think big girls can take it because, you know, you can be a little bit more aggressive because they can handle the pushing and the pounding. Yeah, because now I mean? we, we, we we had a re-encounter. I said, excuse me, re- I'm not big a, a, no more. First off, is a re-encounter. A re-encounter. Yeah, you're going to ask me to ask me. Like you're going to ask me Wait, how no, I said her close. word. It was damn close, though. It was damn close. I was there. <laughs> it was close. What were you doing? What were you doing? Hey, but, um... And he and he said and he did what now? And so I said, y'all? excuse me. What, what you playing around? What are you said, trying to tell me now? I said, uh, I ain't big no more. You fragile. So now. what is you you trying to put through my make come out my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you going that deep for? Uh-uh. <laughs> Yo, but 
See, and this is the thing with skinny women. I don't like skinny women. I don't like skinny women. I'm not skinny. No, 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 I'm, me, I'm, me. I'm not, see, is it different for you? Because what he what he used to you being and anything with you are now, anything he like this, yo, what you mean? You who you are to me. You better, you know, tuck and roll and get this work. And then, that was uh, just the same one when my stomach hit him. <laughs> yeah, see? He think he gonna, he got, I'm gonna work that stomach. This time, oh, what happened with what happened to all that? Mm-hmm. Where is that now? It ain't there no more. Now you're a small Boy, I got up on there. Got to have, have, have the stallion say, I got up on my tiptoes and spot to the tip, to the tip, to the top. <laughs> Man, I got I, love I hope you. He, I hope you see this. To the tip, to the top. Yo, but I, thought, I don't like skinny women. I don't like skinny women. And, and I know like most dudes, I don't know, I, like two, two skinny people, and I'm not skinny, I'm just saying, but two skinny people bumping back and forth is a disgusting thing to see. I never want to see like skinny to wash porn. a washboard. I don't want ever want to see skinny porn. Like when I... <laughs> <laughs> that's a fucking sight yeah, to that's see. That's nasty. That look nasty. That's like yo. That's nasty. That look like a Halloween scary movie or something. Like some skeletons doing like. Did you yo, say a Halloween? Halloween a Halloween porn. porn. That's what that is. That's Halloween porn. You done gave a new name to porn now. Yeah, Halloween's porn. Hey, so you watch porn? Well, when you look porn at porn, hub. what? You watch porn? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you the ill porn, the ill porn to go to, and they think um website to go to. Don't do porn up no more. Give you the ill joint. They got black people. Got black black anything people. you want. Everything is readily available on the internet now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yo, whenever I, whenever I pull up something and anything on porn, then it gotta be it gotta be like thick women. You know what I'm saying? It gotta be thick women. I hate skinny women. Uh, not I hate skinny women, but I hate seeing skinny women like having sex. I hate that. And I don't like the have sex with skinny women. I hated that my whole life. My whole life. Yo, that's kind of wet. I probably had two skinny women my whole life. In my whole life. Two after your whole life? <laughs> probably about that. About three. Maybe three. So when you was younger running the streets being a, 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 wild, a wild man, mm-hmm. you they still like the They always just thick. Hmm. Always just thick. Yeah. Yeah. If they wasn't, if they wasn't thick, then, you know, they was chunky in the back and Turn your top. They might have been, you know. I mean, flat stomach, a little weight. Do you know I used to? I, my my breast used to be big. Your what? My breast. Oh, your breast. I thought you said your brush. I was like, man, what the hell are you doing your brush? And then I thought about it. This is you I'm talking to. But back to your. Back, you said your breast used to be big. So what you did? I used to have. I used to be a forty double D. <laughs> So what you do? I had a brush reduction. Yeah. Yeah. They used to hurt my back. They used to be all to the side, hanging down like cow titties. I used to be, that was so unattractive. I used to look at myself like, damn, they hanging all the way down there. I used to try to lift it up no matter what kind of bra. So hold that. up. So when you, was ri- when you was riding that dude, oh, no, was no, it no, your no, stomach no. or was it your titties? My titties or... was already done by then. Oh, okay. Hold up. So you got your, you got your chest done, but you didn't get your stomach done. And sure as they pay for that. So insurance would pay for it. your chest breast back. reduction. Your... Yeah, because it, it, it hurts your back. So they need to put something in to say like, "Yo, your stomach being big, it hurts your back too," because it does. You ever see? You ever see? Hold I on. think if I keep losing more weight and the skin keep, because you know I put powder, I gotta lift it up and put powder so it don't sweat and stink. <laughs> in the fufa area. In the fufa area. Yeah, hold up, man. Hold up. <laughs> I know I don't want to envision what you just told me just now. First off, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. All right, I, I, yeah, I swear to God, I don't want to see that. Take these glasses off, please. All right, but yo, listen. Um, so they'll pay for your chest, but not your stomach. Mm-hmm. Not unless the doctor probably worded to make yeah, it. Yeah, doctor has to. Yeah, that's part of it. That's part of your back hurt. You ever see like dudes who got real big stomachs and anything like, and they back be bent on um, tucked in and they chest sticking like out oh, whatever they they. Postures like that, mm-hmm. they're back and they always claim they got back problems. But they're here and they holding their back, whatever. That's because their stomach too big. It's pulling on their vertebrae. Mm-hmm. That is. That's part of it. Yeah, I gotta get that thing. I wanna get look down and see it. You wanna? <laughs> so at this point, it's all mirror work. I say that. I just gotta <laughs> hold it all the way as <laughs> as much as I can and look down and <laughs> you good down there, girl. She was like, yeah. <laughs> I see when she get waxed. Oh, you see a mirror, right? 
No, because I'm laying down. Uh, you know, when you lay down, everything falls out in the place. Huh? Yo, you got to watch Dion Cole. <laughs> Speaking about this, you got to watch Dion Cole on Netflix. He got a special. Is the dude, you know, a tall, dark mm-hmm. skin, a tall brown skin dude. Anything, um, I know what you're talking about. Fading curly hair. Yo, I think he right even mixed this show, uh, Blackish or whatever, one of those shows. But anyway, yo, you got to stand up. You got to watch it. He talk about how <laughs> he said he don't, he like women with big chests. He said they ain't got titties big enough. Where he can taste the deodorant when he sucks his nipples. He said, they don't want them. That's some nasty shit to taste. But they must be that big that they fall into his size. That, like how I, how I was when I said the 40, 40 double G. That shit was, yeah. You said, yeah. Yeah. It was like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And you be putting deodorant on it. be done came on over here. But I'm getting classy. I'm getting myself together. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ew. <laughs> Ew. With the taste that shit, that's some nasty ass. That's chalky. sweat and chalky. deodorant. Chalky as hell. <laughs> Yo, um, speaking of comedians, you know Dave Chappelle, he did a special on Netflix with our Sticks and Stones. Everybody went crazy. They went off and they think about how he was insensitive and, you know what I'm saying, he got crazy on, um, just about everybody. He went off on everybody on that whole, and I special. Did you see the special yet? Cool. Dave Chappelle. Oh, yeah. You gotta watch it. I um, watched it with you. Oh, okay. Yeah, Tron did. You did watch it. Um, Yeah, Dave Chappelle, he went off on everybody. So they they, they trying to attack him and they won't answer nobody. He like, right, why he like, don't want to go back to it? First of day, like, I got paid already. You know what I'm saying? Netflix gave me my bread. So he like, what you want me to say? You know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, you going to try to cancel me over something that I said? He's like, you didn't have, he said this on the special, you didn't have to press play on this. He said, so you chose to press play. And now you're upset about what I said. He was like, I got paid already, and you act like you could cancel me. You can't cancel me. I'll cancel y'all, and I'll leave for seven years again. He know he'll do it. And he'll do it. I'm like, you know what I mean? So he's bugging. They bugging on him now because he didn't, he don't answer nothing, and he won't you know make no comments about all of the stuff. Because he don't have him. to. Why everybody think so, you got to have an answer for everything somebody wants you to? I learned. I'm talking. Yeah, yeah. Jail. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't gotta answer everything. Ooh, ooh. Let me ask you something. Did you hear the uh, the interview with Wale on the Breakfast Club? Because it was a debate at my job. Mm-hmm. Me and a couple girls, we was all discussing this. They trying to tell me that Angela Angela Yee is messing with Wale. I said, no, it's not. Just because of this, this little flirting that they was doing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like they might end up. They might end up, but I don't think they mess with no, I don't think At so least not yet. I didn't hear it yet, but I gotta check it out. You hear his music? No, no, no. Because they said he got the number one. The I track. like that song. I like that song with him and Jeremiah. Oh, oh is it? Uh... Oh, I forget the name. Don't do it. God, I forget the name of the song. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a dope song. He, like said he, he, he said he he said he was battling depression. I mean, I can understand that. Wally, is a, he's a good rapper who didn't get a, he don't get a fast shape. He you said that. They don't put a lot of music. They don't put a lot of um, push behind his music. So I, I could believe that. I can believe that. He said he won a um, he won an award. But you know what though, a lot of people deal with depression on the low. You know what I mean? Um, and it's not. I gotta revisit that whole Dave Chappelle thing too. I gotta get back to. I gotta tell you, but um, because it's kind of tied to this. A lot of people um, they deal with depression on the low, and they don't. It, it might be it's different levels of depression. You know what I'm saying? You might be like, yo, you know what? Um, I'm depressed because I don't have money. I'm depressed because um, I see people who I know doing things. And I can't do it too. Um, that's called being uh, that's FOMO, fear of missing out. You no, know, that's like called that. being um, envy, envy in the system. I mean, like jealous. Yeah, not not so much as jealous because you might not hate hate them for what they you know saying what they got going on, but you just might be like, yo, I want to do that too. But you don't know what they did to get that, so you can't say you want that. I used to be like that. I used to always, ooh. But you well, know, I'd be like. Well, why she getting? I ain't never get. It. I don't know, understand that. But you, well, nah, but you know that there's more cases of that now than there ever was because of social media because now. Because of social media, because people get a chance to see other people's lives or what they depict their and lives. They to be, think like, oh, and they think. oh, prime example, Erica and Safari. Now people probably like, oh my god, it's hope for me. Mm-hmm. It's hope for everybody. It's hope for everybody, no doubt. And people got to start seeing that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You can create your own story. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm like, creating mine. Yeah, create your own story. See, disturbingly yeah. random. Watch out. You gonna see this face? I promise you. That's gonna be my security, my manager. She my ace. Boom. I told you. I, I told you. I saw it on the um in, um, in uh, the airport. It was on the um, computer one day. On the, um. Disturbingly random. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's really raining. That was dope. Yeah. It's an airport. Who the was right. watching us? It know. wasn't me. I wasn't there. She said I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, back to Dave Chappelle thing. Um. The I know Dave Chappelle when he was doing his um the Sticks and Stones stand up thing on Netflix, he mentioned a transgender, a particular transgender. He was talking about. Well. Somebody wrote an article online talking about how, uh, you know, it was a critic, and they, they talked about how the transgender person he's talking, and he was talking about, um, what was her name, uh, Daphne Dorman, or something like that, Dorfman, Daphne Dorman, you know, no, excuse me if I don't say the name right, but um, she was a transgender who Dave Chappelle know anything, and, you know, he said that she never takes offense to his jokes, his transgender jokes. Well... After the special came out and all of the hoopla came out about it, you know, and the things he but was saying. But if she didn't she, take offended, she committed offended. suicide. But it wasn't because of that. Uh, They're trying to tie it to that. See how they do That's just dirty. Yeah, that's so just they, dirty. Don't do that. Yeah, they didn't say nothing. It, it, nothing relates. Nothing connects the that the reason why she committed suicide. But they suicide. want. They but want to connect wanna, the dots. They want to connect that dot. You know what I mean? She said she had been going through some things or whatever like that, and things were going you know a certain way in her life or whatever. And, you know, she just, she wrote some stuff on Twitter and said goodbye the next day she committed suicide. And they did, but now... You never know what a person is going yeah. through. You never know. You know what I mean? So it's like, um, you yeah, know, and maybe the critics, you know what I'm saying, you put, sometimes you put so much light on certain things that... And cause people to do things. And cause people to do yeah. things. And they think, so, leave them alone. Yeah, leave, leave, leave them alone. Yeah. yeah everybody okay. have a life. Everybody got a story to tell. Can't mm-hmm. nobody tell your story but you. Yeah, I always say that. I said, I was like, yo, you know, um... Be the author of your own life. You know what I'm saying? Be the author of your own life. And and that's why, like, to bring it back to when I did my stage play. Um, oh, I would love you know that play. Based on my um, my first book, my autobiography, uh, Myths, Memoirs, and Confessions of the Next Family. You can get it on Amazon. Why don't we do it in a movie? Let's um, make a movie out of it. And we did Sol- The Solitary Pen. It was, and it was sort of like half movie, half play, stage play. You know what I'm saying? Because we had it on the screen. So Who can I like, play now? Now that I got some acting skills. You can be you. You can play in that. But yeah, it was it was kind of dope. We need how to we do did. it over again. It was kind of dope, but it's it like it was dope. It was like um the reason why I didn't go too much go further after that is because um me and um the uh, the playwright um we bumped heads on a couple of things or whatever and she was going to keep going forward with it and everything. She's a dope playwright. I can't go front on her. And but that's right. how um, but everybody like, is. You gonna bump heads? I said yo, you can't keep going forward with it if I ain't doing it right now because now you're telling my story. You know what I'm saying? I was like, now, nah, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, I'm the author of my story. So yeah. I was like, yo, I'm, I'm sorry, that, that needs to come back. So, you know what I'm saying? Now, me and her, we cool and everything. It'd be dope to do it all over again. And, you know what I'm saying? Put in a, a bigger forum and everything. Like whatever. Symphony Hall. Down to Symphony Hall. And we would, and the crazy thing is we was headed down to. Um, or the Terrace Ballroom. What's the uh, Savion Glover? Savion Glover, the tap dance kid. Uh-huh. He got a, a theater in school, whatever, downtown Newark. We were supposed to bring it to his theater afterwards. And that's where we was headed to. And we was already set up and everything. So that would have been like a 500 seat or a 300 seat. Well, we can't. You know what I mean? Can we redo this again? Because what, what I had, what I had there at that uh, art gallery, that was maybe like 100 seats. Maybe like 75 to 100 seats. About 100, yeah. About 100 seats because it was seats off to the side. seats. And, and it was full. It was full. All three nights. It was full. Yeah. So. I had fun. Oh my God. It was just. I got to find that footage. I got more. I got a lot of footage from that. Yeah, that was, more. that was like, I remember it. Yeah. I remember it. My man, my man over in um in New York, over uh he was a, he was a dude in the play. Remember, he was a dude who was in the um bathroom, and he walked up and he was like uh in in the play. He walked up, he was standing over the person who was playing me, mm-hmm. and he was like flexing on him and everything. He was like, "What you around here for?" He got the footage and everything. So you need to reach out to him. Yeah, his name is Frank and everything. He got the footage. Everything. He was, you need to reach dope. out to him. I gotta find. I and the guy that played you was dope. Yeah, that was uh. Terrell. Terrell. Terrell was dope. Terrell did his thing. Yeah, he killed it. Terrell, Terrell Willis was his name. He played me. People always ask me how come I didn't play myself in that play. I was like, I can't, I can't, I can't act like myself. That's weird to me. You know what I mean? Like, See, it's weird because like I'm going, because I'm going to be too, I'm going to be too, um, I'm going to be trying to do every teeny little part. Because you know, you know. Because I knew exactly mm-hmm. what happened. And it's going to take too much out of it. So as if you, like this so kid, did he ter- sit down and just nah, shadow he followed you? Me. Yeah, he shadowed me. Yo, How he, long? For like, for weeks. Like, you know what I'm saying? He would chill with me for the day and everything, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we would um be there on, on set 
and we'd be um at or I mean at practices and whatever, and he would just be sitting there watching me just like this. And then I turn up like, yo, so um and he'll respond to me the way I would respond to somebody. And I didn't catch it at first. But when I caught it, I was like, yo, don't do that no more, man. <laughs> it's scary. He, yo, he, he started saying and everything. It and everything. The funniest, yo, the funniest shit. I was like, yo, I never seen that like this. He was good. He was good. So for Halloween, why don't I dress like you and you dress like me? <laughs> yo, that's not funny. Yo, that's not even funny. I would do it though. I would do it. I'm gonna put some weed in my head and I would have like my Get a wig. <laughs> Get a wig. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd be mad to see how you would dress like to try to dress like me. I get mad as hell for that problem. <laughs> <laughs> and then we gotta act like each other too, though. That'd be dope. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that'd be dope. That nobody ain't never did that. That'd be that'd be dope. Yo, let's do that. We, let's take that one out. We might have to end up doing it. That might be better than the Alvin and the Chipmunks thing. We might do that. That might be dope. Yo, um. Oh, last thing. Hey, I gotta um I gotta mention the little girl, she's ten years old down in South Jersey at the carnival. Got threw off the carnival ride and died. Amazing. So um condolences to her and her family. Oh wow. Yo, I don't like carnival rides. I won't get on a carnival ride. That's a, that's the second time or third time I heard something like that. Yeah, I don't mess with carnival rides at all. I, I like to see the carnival, I like to go through it. I like to go get the zeppos and the, the funnel shish-kabobs. cakes and stuff like that, right? Fried Oreos. <clears throat> yep. Damn, yo, you really yeah, you really do like them sweets, huh? That's t- <laughs> I told you. Yo, is that spaghetti good? Is that, um, is that uh, shrimp parm um, good? Oh, too? my God. You got more left? Yeah. Okay. I hit you off. I need to work tomorrow. Well, you off tomorrow. Uh, I'll let you yeah. sit at home. I'll let you sit at home with that. You know, you send me you, you send me some for tomorrow when I don't got to work. But when the days I do have to work, you don't send me with no damn food. Ain't that some backward shit? Yeah, that is backward. But matter of fact, I'm going to send you with that. We put in the refrigerator to have for Tuesday because tomorrow you're just going to drink tea. Gotcha. Yeah. Got you. No, I'm going to go to my second job. Okay. I'm going to try it. I don't know if I'm going to go back and like it, but it ain't fun no more. It ain't supposed to be fun. I told Why you another, not? I told you another fun job to have. I know. I'm about to I go there. I got you. Do what? That. I got you. Okay. Um, but, uh, damn, man. Did we cover everything? Did no, what happened to that one? You don't want to do it? Oh, hell. Yeah, let's talk about that. Um, First off, I keep telling y'all. I don't believe this. I don't believe none of this. We're about to touch upon this whole thing. Um, Joe and Sin. Joe, Joe Budden and Sin Santana. I don't think it's real. And because I think. Well, she confirmed it. All right, She's the, the happiest and person the she ever been right now. Right. That was the happiest. But, that was the best decision she could have made. See, I don't want to believe it for well, two reasons. Because you want them to be together? That's the second reason. That's the second reason. The first reason I don't want to believe it is because I'd be feeling like people who. In the spotlight, they do anything to create a buzz on something. And I know Love and Hip Hop New York is about to come back out. So I feel like that was a build up for their story. But I don't want to believe that Joe's a part of that because Joe oh, Joe understands that game so well. And he's always playing against that game. So he's like, I'm not doing that. I'm probably not playing a game with Joe. But I know Joe's a part of this machine now. He's a part of that. So I got to go back to believing that this is fake here. And they, right? But then... For her to come out and say that to the public or whatever, I was like, damn, yo, Joe. Was, and they was being so quiet about things for all this time that all of a sudden she say something like that. Nonetheless, she said it on, what's that chick's name? Tiffany Pollard. Ain't that I Love New York Girl? That was um, Flavor Flay. I Love New York Girl. That's, that's, I love New York. that's New York, right? She from Buffalo. Miss New York. Miss, she from New York. Yeah, she from Buffalo. That ain't New York. It is New York. But it's not me. It's like but that you know, was her name, on uh, Flavor of Love, Miss New York. Yo, shout out to my man Gotti from uh, New York too, from um, from Buffalo too. I gotta give Gotti a shout out. That's my man. Remember in my book when I talked about my man? He um he put this shit in the envelope. And oh yes, yes. Yeah. That's my man Gotti. He was from Buffalo. Mm. He put shit in the envelope and sent it to his girl and everything. I don't know how he did it, but and he called because they didn't check mail going out. They only checked it coming in. So he like tripled. Oh, time, okay. Four times the envelope on the paper and the envelope, and it had a thing. She thought it was a thick letter, <laughs> and he got that. She opened it up, and they, and I know she wilded out, but when he called that on the phone, and he was laughing, she was like, "Yo, you motherfucker!" And he was like, "Yo, laughing at it." He was like, "Yo, you some shit, you some shit." I was like, "Yo." When you say he did that nasty shit, I just was like, I can imagine. But, shit. Yo, when he told me about it, we was on, <laughs> but when he told me about it, we was sitting on the floor by the vent, and he was like. Oh, come to the vent. I said, well, so he, wait. He's in the hole. The vent's here. A vent? 
Yeah, have vents in the subs. Yeah, you gotta have a vent needed for you know for the for air to come in. And out. It? The air to come in and out. Mm. So it's like you know, so we had a vent right behind the toilet. Hey, right, and his toilet was like back to back, and then he can get mines from one side. Yo, to the he next. really thought that whole shit through. Yeah. He literally, literally thought, thought that whole, that shit, whole through. shit through. Yo, I was like, yo, God, he lost it. That's why I knew he lost his mind. I said, yo, he went crazy. My man went crazy. When you do stuff like that, it just got you. It just got you. Yeah, prison, prison ate his mind up. Prison, prison ate his that mind. That shit up. ate. Yeah. See, the word shit just yeah. keep coming out. Uh-huh. I was like, I feel bad for my man because I was like, Yo. I know if he was, oh, I could imagine how she, oh, I could just imagine like, I wonder what God he did. Oh, I could imagine like she probably was looking like, ah, if this motherfucker That's was a baby not locked too. up, I will fucking kill him. She wanted to kill. Him. She would have went to jail just because of him. <laughs> That's his baby's mom. I was like, Yo, God, he's crazy. Just to know he, she got to deal with him because they had mm-hmm. kids. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> you got a story to tell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's some nasty shit. But yeah, rest in y'all. Yeah, rest in peace. Um, shout out to my man Gotti. Um, uh, my man, oh Gotti out there, right? But uh, yeah, that's where Tiffany Pollard from. Um, New York. She's from Buffalo. We used to make jokes at my man Gotti. He was like, "Yo, you're not really from Gotti. I just wanted a cool dude from out of Buffalo." I had a couple other dudes up there who was cool too, but um, Gotti was like the coolest by far. Why don't you just have a a, a reunion? I don't. You know what? Over the past. Two months, I've probably seen about seven, six or seven of um my uh, my comrades who I was. Away I'm with. saying you should just have one big reunion. No, with that, all that, that, that's a conspiracy. You could go back to jail for that. You could. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Oh, <laughs> Listen, huh. you put all of us in a room together. You don't think that you know what I'm saying? Uh, I should interview some... all y'all. No, you should not. No, <laughs> no. at different times, probably yeah. But not all at the same time. Oh, hell no. You get us all in the room together. <laughs> you think somebody, yo, we we wouldn't come out of there with a billion dollar idea. Yeah, would. <laughs> yeah, too many of us together though. Who's gonna be the boss? And there's the problem. <laughs> That's what happens when you get guys like that. Bro. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't even want to be. <laughs> I'd be like this now. Put me last in the corner at last. <laughs> but when all this go down, I don't want to be the one to go. <laughs> but um, that'd be a cute reunion. <laughs> no, nah, not cute. But, uh, <laughs> No, not cute. No, not cute. Well, you got you got somebody that can. That now look, see, he was one. Look, this was one of my sons. And he could be the main one that sit in 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 the middle of all the y'all and make sure he he could counsel. Yeah, he can counsel all the y'all. It was um, but yeah, it was dope though. Um, sitting with him because, like I said, he was my first celly for two years. Um, where at? Uh, in Fairton, New Jersey. Oh, Um, federal federal prison in South Jersey. Um, so you know about this fed stuff and all this oh, other yeah, stuff yeah, everybody yeah, be talking about. Yeah, this real stuff, yeah. And um, my man who came to see me a couple of weeks ago, he stayed for the weekend. He um, here? No, no, no. He, at uh, the studio? Yeah, in, Jer- no, no, um, in, uh, in Jersey, in Nor- Newark. He was in Newark. Oh. oh. Um, he, whatchamacallit, he, uh, we was, how long were we together? We was together for like three years in Ohio. And then we went to, we got, <laughs> we went to the hole for eight months. It is because uh, we escaped the prison. Oh, uh, yeah, you told yeah. me how you oh, yeah, caught. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Y'all caught. got caught. We was coming back. We wasn't going to stay gone. We was just leaving. I would leave the prison all the time. It took me like six and a half years to get to a camp where there was no fences, no barbed wires, no brick walls or nothing. So it was less like um, coming. Um, it was like life. Uh, yeah, the movie Life. Yeah, so I would leave and I would come back. I would do whatever I wanted to do and I would come back. <laughs> right? So So you made it seem like it was a, like a revolving door. Where? In, in the camp? Yeah. It wasn't even no door. I'm just saying, you can walk in and yeah. walk out. Yeah. And it can't. It took, took, it took just me, without permission. Yeah, it was. It took me six and a half years to get there. I started off behind a wall. Hey, the, in, in dungeons so what you was that. on, good behavior, and that's yeah. why they sent you? It actually, I had a case manager. He's a black case manager. I won't say his name. Get him in no more trouble. He was like, yo. Um, he said, uh, he said, you know, you're not supposed to even. He said, you could really go to a camp. I said, get out of here. He said, I could drop your custody level. I said, yeah. He said, because. He said, you don't have, he said, um, you don't have to stay here because you don't have a violent crime anymore. He said, your gun charge got dropped off. I said, yeah, I know. He said, so why they still got you jammed up here in a low facility? I said, I don't know. You tell me. He was like this. I'm going to send you to a camp. He said, I might so be why, making a Wait, mistake. what was your attorney at? Why he couldn't tell you that? Uh, attorney, I'm like six and a half years in. Oh, it was almost time point. to go home. Yeah, I still had like three and a half more years. So he was like, yo, he said, um, I might be making a mistake, but I'm going to send you. 
Nigga got. I said, "Won't he do it?" Nigga. Did he do it? He did it. He <laughs> said, "He said, yo, he said, if you go down there, and you on good behavior." He said, "They transfer you to wherever you want to go to." I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna go down there for six months and be on good behavior." Then my plan was to get transferred to Atlanta, and I was gonna go down to Atlanta camp because I heard Atlanta camp was even sweeter than this one. It was right you down there. You had it all mapped out. Had it mapped out. I just couldn't sit still. So I got down ADHD there. And he I kicked was, in real bad for I was wilding. And he so, told you to stay still. Yeah, so I went down there. I was wilding. So my first, within my first three months, I was in a hole for 100 days under investigation. In the camp? Yeah. So I was in a hole for like. What uh, did you do? I was escaping. I was sleeping. So, uh, but this time, I didn't even leave at that, that time. I had a cell phone and all that, and my man no left. You and, wasn't even supposed to have a cell phone. And, but they didn't catch me with nothing. They just put me in a hole because some dude ran his mouth. He kakashi me back then. And, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, and so, um, and so we, I, they put me in a whole investigation and the lieutenant, um, an investigation, the whole, she was like, uh, if I find out that you had something to do with anything and you know anybody who's running things on a, com- on a compound down there, she was saying, you're going to go to the hole forever. I was like, you know what, if you find Can they I really did, put somebody in the hole forever? No, they can just transfer me out. Put me in, I've seen people in the hole for like two years, three years. Literally? Two, three years, yeah. They don't come out at all. Let me tell you something. I got a homeboy. You look him up. He's on um, Instagram. There's Mr. Rogers. He's a rapper out in California. Mr. Rogers. M I S T A Rogers. R O G E R S. Can't say it backwards. No, that's all okay. But um, he um, yo, rap, ill rapper now. And he's been doing his thing out in California. He was in a hole for two and a half years before he went home. Okay, let me let me uh, let me understand this. One room. One room. Come out for an hour, forty-five minutes to an hour, every day. Every hour, on the hour you come out? Every day, You only come out once once a day day. for one hour. Yeah, for rest. And then you go back into a bathroom, like, the cell's about as big as a bathroom. Yeah. Do it got a light? Got a light that's, it's bright during the day, and then they put it on dim at night. They don't shut it off, unless you just got a nice seal. They don't never turn the light off, period. But they want to come by and see if you're Make sure you're alive and you're not hanging on that. Yeah. Two years that you only get to come out one hour a day. Mm -hmm. That's how people be coming out mentally crazy, mentally uh, PTSD. Yeah, you get you get you got the effects of PTSD and you, yes, because mm-hmm. yep. all you seen is just four walls. Yeah, I loved the hole. I was in it for eight months. I loved it, and I can tell you why I loved it. I would, look when I go to the hole. I was like this. Here's my thing. Anything that you try to do to me, I'm gonna try to figure out the good in it. You know what I mean? I'm be like this. Okay, now how does this benefit me now? And I'm gonna look for that. And once I find it, and anything, it's like this. You can never put me in there to, to, to try to, you know, discipline me again. You can never do that to me to discipline me again. And my man told me that. I was only like two years in. And uh, two going in, three years in. And, you know, saying seals and anything, they would do stuff to people, whatever, like that. You know what I'm saying? It'd be a riot or whatever. And he was like, yo, you just got to laugh about it. <laughs> he was like, I said, what you mean? He was like, yo, he said, this should be funny sometimes. He said, you think about the bread we was making, the money we was making, and how we was living our life. He was like, yo, this shit funny. These motherfuckers, this little bit of paycheck that they get. He said, yo, how fast did you make they pay their whole year's salary on the streets? And I was like, yo, that's some funny shit. He said, every time they do shit to you, think about that. He said, when they want to mess up yourself, think about that. That's so, so, true because... So, so in 90... So listen, so when the crack riots hit, and like 90... the crack riot? Yeah, we got the crack riot because they were supposed to change the crack laws. Um, the cocaine, the crack disparity, the 100 to 1 disparity, whatever. This is a deep thing. I'll tell you about it later. But... It's, um, but people was getting sentenced to, you know what I'm saying, um, the same amount for a small amount of crack as they were, as people who were getting sentenced to a whole bunch of cocaine, because crack, it infiltrated the black community, so it was really targeted for black people, and cocaine made a lot of white people, so um, cocaine and anything, so they would get caught with five keys, and this dude would get caught with five grams. So who was doing the dope then? Dope wasn't really a big hit, it wasn't hitting people back then, so they didn't even have like harsh laws for dope back then. Um, dope just became the new crack now. That's, that's the, the new, one that's when the you be, they be leaning and, and they won't fall. Right. They do not hit that ground. Hit that ground. And, um, so anyway, they were supposed to be changing the law, and you know we were sitting there watching CNN, <laughs> waiting for the law to change. I can imagine how they really sit. Yeah, we was like watching TV like this train on it, because if the law had changed, a lot of people was about to get their sentence reduced and go home out the door. So we waiting. And they, they went across the screen on the bottom of the screen or the top of the screen, I forget. And it said, um, 
cocaine um, crack disparity law and everything was not changed and blah blah blah. It stayed the same. Yeah, yeah I was like, those, damn. Like, that was like damn. watching the football game and yeah. your team lost. Yep, damn. I mean, they started setting fire to everything and just wild and pouring, pouring boiling water on. It wasn't even just one cell. I mean, one unit. I mean, one one prison. It was prisons throughout the whole United States all happening at the same time because we seeing the same news. So the phones, they shut all of the phones off so nobody could call and they didn't make calls to these people in the streets and anything, right? No connection to nothing in the outside world. So everybody just started riding, you know what I'm saying? Like hitting people. Like if you had beef with somebody at that time, that was the best time to get it over. the time to get them. So people was getting beat up with weights. They took the weights off. You know, they claimed that a Zimmerman bill forced them to take all of the weights off of all of the compounds and anything, whatever, like uh, most of the compounds and anything of all of the, of the prisons throughout the United States. Zimmerman, Zimmerman bill was never passed. Maybe, so they was lying. But they used that as, they said, yeah, we passed Zimmerman Because they know you ain't know no better. Yeah, well, you look it up, you find out. This is a lot of smart dudes in the Indian prison. A lot of smart dudes in there. Um, you know, and obviously, these are the dudes who outthink the people on the street. That's why you had to get them off the streets. Anything, right? Um, you know, take something and turn it into, you know, take nothing and turn it into yeah. something. Um, so, um, I was saying, oh, so the, when the crack riots, when we called it the crack riots, you know what I'm saying? Because we lost our minds and just started tearing up the prisons and beating up COs and all types of stuff. So when it all hit. So when they do, my, do they have like a task force or yeah, something coming? Yeah, the task force came, after, came and was putting, you know, backing us all down. So when it got down to like, you know, a little bit of people in front of my unit and everything, when it went from 250 all the way down to like a six or seven out there and it was 18 of them, 20 of them, I was like, yo, why y'all leave it? Why y'all leave? They had me on camera. And he, there, right? and he was like, yo, they was war marching up on us. My man said, yo, we got to go in, man. And they, you know, thank God for my man, Tone. And he, he had just came in from Lewisburg. He was like, yo, Rome, it ain't like it used to be. He called me Rome, just so you know. <laughs> that ain't my name, but Rome, it ain't like it used to be. I was like, this damn. I was like, ah. I said, Tone, I had tears in my eyes. I never get this. And he made me go inside. He's like, yo, he said, they kill us. And we went inside. Went in my cell, man, about 20 minutes later, they came, they said, yo, get your ass up. <laughs> get your ID. I said, why would I do? They said, you refuse? And I said, no, sir. <laughs> no, sir, I'm not refusing. <laughs> put your hands behind your back. I put my hands behind my back. As we know, they took like 54 of us over to the um, hole. We was going to the hole. Man, we got to that hole, man. They kicked my feet from under my uh, from under my um, body. And I fell, and he just held my hands. And everything. I fell right into that door. And they, another seal hit me in my ribs with this there's a stick. I was like, this, damn, I just bust out laughing. <laughs> that like, made it worse. Like, just, that made it worse. I said, yo, that shit hurt like hell. <laughs> <laughs> and I laughed. You said, hey, you take these cuffs off, it's going now. Yeah. Uh, and then they end, I think they let 12 of us back out. And the rest of them dudes, what, 12 or 16 of us came out, I forget. And the rest well, of them How long were you out of hold for? Only like a week. Like a week. Less than, like maybe 10 days at most. And then, um... The rest of them do is they ship them to different places all through the United States and different prisons. It was the worst thing to do. Anything that they when they did that, and I ran into some people later on, whatever you know what I'm saying. But um, but anyway, yeah, Holy yeah. So I so I started learning to like when people when you know like I started learning to like the whole. So I was like, yo, you know what? All my mail's coming to me. You're gonna bring my mail to me. I don't have to go down to the desk to get it. And wait so for it was that. like you was getting room service. It was room service. All my mail's gonna come to me. The book, the cart gonna come around for the books. So wait, when you had to take a shower, where you go? You had like to shower certain, in your cell? Certain, certain holes, they got a shower in the cell. The new prisons. The old prisons and everything, I'm saying, yo, you gotta go to the shower. They take you down to That's the shower. That's part of your hour. Yeah, no, it's a different, it's like, one day you do shower, the next day you're gonna do, uh, you do rec. So it's alternate. Wait. You couldn't wash your ass every day? You're going to the sink. You can always wash your ass in the sink. No, no, no. You couldn't take a shower every day? Mm-hmm. I used to wash my underwear and stuff in the sink. And, I mean, in the toilet. And uh, I used to wash my underwear and my socks in the toilet. And anything like that. They give you like two sets. Just so I'd be having to wash them in the toilet. Why not the sink? Why the toilet? Because. You put, you put them in the sink. You know, look, the, short, the, the water in the um, toilet is always fresher. <laughs> you know, and you just flush it. And anything you just, you know. And no, um, the clean water. I fucking hate and you. And flush it. I hate him. I shopping. hate him. And there's a constant flow. It's like, you know, in the sink, you got to hold a button, and it's only coming out short little Did stuff. you say yeah. you just flush it and you just... Mm-hmm. Yeah. And put it in there again. My toilet stayed clean. You can eat out of my toilet. Oh, you got OCD, so I know I did. I know yeah, I did. Yo, I would mop my floor on a... But, on but my, to piggyback on what you said, when you said, I know what you're talking about, because when I'm working, the job I'm at, mm-hmm. I guess... 
I don't know, they told uh, like the teachers and the aides and stuff, oh, you got to be outside with the kid. And I used to hate it. Then I said, you know what? I'm going to turn that into a positive. I want to lose weight, so I just walk around the playground. Yeah. Just walk. Yeah, it's like, doing. what are you doing? I said, I'm watching the kids as I walk because it's four corners. Mm-hmm. So I'm walk- as, as I'm walking, I'm walking this way. I can see them this way. I'm walking that way. I can see them this way. Mm-hmm. Tell me, I keep telling you, keep a better eye on the kids. Better. Well, now please don't put me out there because it's cold. Because <laughs> I can't do it now. Between the flashes, I go through it. I can't do it right now. Mm. And then I lost a little weight. That, that, that might help. That might help. No, no. Blood flow. No. Might help. But yeah, man. But like I said, I seen um, I seen my um, my other dude. I was in a hole for eight and a half months. Maybe he came a couple of weeks ago. We chilled. Maybe it was good to see him. I seen my dude. Right? He just, Interview with uh, for food by food. Uh, so are all of y'all doing something different with y'all lives yeah, now? Yeah. Positive. Yeah. So the one that the Most, other one. I ain't gonna say everybody. Um, I know some dudes who doing whatever and they think. So the one that came to see you, what he, are you doing? He's he's um remodeling homes and selling houses. Oh, houses. Oh, okay. Yeah, he he's vicious with it too. He's vicious. Um. In Jersey. Not in Ohio. Um, who else? Oh, my other dude came to see me. He's from Brooklyn, but he lives down in Maryland now. He came to see me a couple of weeks back. Uh, I seen my other dude who had life. Um, seen him down in North Carolina. You said who had life? He did yeah. 25 years? No, you don't get 25 years on life in federal. You do life. Oh, no. His sentence got overturned, so he ended up getting 30 years. So he had pulled, he did 24 on it. 24 on 30. So he came home after 24 years. Wow. That's a long time. Yeah, I'd be saying he crazy as shit, but um, he ain't crazy. What happened to the one you was telling us about with the the the, <laughs> what? the wife? He his his, his girl. I, I ain't telling you. I ain't saying that on no camera. It's my man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy. I mean, if it if it's cool, then I'm gonna say it. I forgot. I forgot that story. I'll never forget. It makes me laugh. Uh-huh, no, no. You but got yeah. a lot of funny stories. Yeah, I got yeah, I got some um, some good dudes, Nathan, who came home and you know spent a, a large chunk of their life and in, in, uh, away, and they they came home and they made something great of it. That's um, good. Mm-hmm. It didn't take away the um the sanity. Oh, don't it, say that. Don't you say that. <laughs> it took away some sanity. I will say that, but some some dudes, yeah, they kind of they go, seven go, thirty go, go, as go, they go. say. <laughs> It's, Elevator just jump you know, up you know, and down. Yeah, you know what seven thirty is, right? Mm-hmm. So they're pill call, just pill on. <laughs> Yo, I, I've seen some stuff, but um, but yeah, we here today. Anything else? Sometimes I think that you was in prison. What? Sometimes, like to where you be acting, I think that you was in prison. No, you got crazy. You got crazy. Yo, if you was in a female prison, uh-huh. like, how would you Please act? Don't do that. How I don't ever want to vision that. Oh, I don't know. I I I'd probably be nervous, scared. Have to be somebody's bitch. You wouldn't become like, you know, diked out and just like, you know, be out chasing the bomb. No, I don't want to. No, what? You got the short hair. No. They'd be like this, yo. Mm-mm. You need me to. I don't even want to be. Let me just. You don't want to make nobody wash it. Let me be the counselor. <laughs> be the counselor. <laughs> that that means your prison, your prison guard? No, the counselor. Like, you know, if you need counseling, come to my oh, office. Talk, talk, you're going to talk to people. And I could say, well, maybe we can try to get you some help. Mm. Yeah, you be you you be eyed though. You be eyed in there. No, I'm sc- no. Mm-mm. Nah. I'm not fit for that. Okay. Hey man. <sighs> you wanna um uh, you wanna say something else here before we go? Um Isn't it better when it's just the two of us? Oh shit. I think so. Damn, she's so mean. Cause I'm getting tired of being stood up by somebody. Oh, she not over there. She, um, yo man, another um episode that was up. I don't know what the hell the episode is, man. What are we on? Episode seven know. or eight? Nine, eight, eight, eight nine, seven, seven, eight. Well, you'll see it. It's probably down guess there. what? If you I... want to know what episode we are? Keep watching, binge watching. You'll know which ones we uh where we left off at. Damn, guess she told you, yeah, and she smiled when she told yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, oh look, I feel like a turtle. <laughs> Yo, we out, man. Hey, disturbingly random. I'm Ro. Miss Cookie. Check us out. And anything, I will be back next week. And I said and everything about ten times. And time. hopefully, we're gonna come up with a good idea for our Halloween costumes. You heard? I'm gonna be her. And I'm gonna be her.
Could you imagine that? Yeah, start imagining. You're going to see some real crazy shit. Ooh. Yo, we out. And then, and then you wonder why it's called this. Am I cock out it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> then you're going to see week. why we call it disturbingly random.